Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I gave my stalkers Plasma Caster a shot. And no, it's not exclusively about stalkers legendary effect, it's about Plasma Caster in 2023. How good actually is Plasma Caster? And to save you too much trouble early on, like if you don't have a Plasma Caster yet, you can purchase plants with a gold bullion from a secret service that are located at Vault 79 and occasionally from Minerva when she offers Plasma Caster or its modifications on sale a little bit cheaper. But even if she doesn't, Vault 79, you will be able to buy it there. And it is a heavy gun. It is a single shot heavy gun. On top of everything, very powerful single shot heavy gun. The best modifications, there's really not much to choose from. Prime capacitor, a line sniper barrel. There is no sight available at all. So that's how you modify it. Two modifications. And no, you shouldn't choose any other capacitor. The Prime is a superior one and ammo is incredibly easy to farm through daily ops. So if you consider other receivers, I will save you time. Just don't. You will sacrifice a lot of damage for no reason. Now what I have here, it's Stalkers. That's hit chance, less action point cost. It is actually an amazing combination. There is more good plasma casters. What I would suggest, if you want to fight bosses, anti-armor, that's critical damage, less action point cost will be amazing. A stalker is surprisingly really good as a daily driver. Anything else that does have that's hit chance is a good daily driver. Stalkers is just combo. It's total of 150% bonus to VATS hit chance, so that's like tripling your VATS hit chance when Stalkers is active. So from, let's say, 30% VATS hit chance, you are bumping it up to 90%. So this is very handy. A quick explanation here how Stalkers actually work. I know it can be a little bit confusing. Usually you are used to uh, effects like that to be related to the bracket saying hidden, or caution or danger, it is not. You don't actually need to sneak at all to use the stalker effect, but in the same time, it's being disabled relatively quickly. After enemies start looking for you and firing and engage into combat mode, even if you are still hidden, you will lose the stalker's effect. So it's like early on in combat, the fight opening, but you can still use it quite efficiently. Uh, I will show you a little bit of combat demonstration now. We shoot some Scourged. And if you are curious what build you should use, any heavy gunner build capable of using VATS will work great for you. So I have plenty of builds, you can choose something. And now look at that. I have beautiful 95% hit chance on those Scourged for opening shot. It is great because unfortunately, if Plasma Caster misses the first shot, you just need to exit VATS and re-enter it because all next shot will be missed too. If you re-enter VATS, that fixes that. And critical always hit. Like if I do critical now, it hits. And you notice? Every shot was one shot and kill. So this weapon is powerful enough that as a daily driver, I don't need prefix boosting my damage as all those Scourged will die from one shot nevertheless. So if I want to fight out in the open, I don't need effects like anti-armor, bloodied or so on. Of course, I do encourage you to keep other good effects, not only the stalkers, but what I'm saying, don't discard the stalkers. Look how beautifully it, it works here. I can discard all those scourge out from a distance before they even engage in combat with me. And when they already engage in combat with me, they are close enough. So criticals alone will annihilate them. 
the criticals with this weapon incredibly powerful as you can see i clear this fissure side relatively fast and in case of tougher enemies like super mutants let me demonstrate and just a quick unrelated info here this saturday we are celebrating sheep squatch day community event for the fourth time so please tune in for the live stream even if you cannot try on saturday to wear some sheep squatch mascot outfit and pitchfork will the pitchfork kill some enemies celebrate with us and look at that two shot with a stalkers it's always a kill with proper effect you can get one shot without critical on those super mutants critical is always one shot the VATS hit chance is incredibly helpful, as you can see, I'm not missing any of the headshots. And this is this is huge, almost one shooting them now with adrenaline stack. So a little bit of damage boost and I would like psycho buff. Okay, let me see. Oh, I went out of nerd rage after consuming psycho buff. Now it should be one shot. Yeah, it is. Alternatively, I could equip Bloody Mess. I'm uh, missing Bloody Mess. Same spec for critical. So you can even with Stalker get what get one shot kills on Super Mutant. So as long as all enemies die in one shot, you don't really need a prefix that will boost your damage. In that case scenario, when you don't need more damage, you can utilize other stuff like Stalkers for VATS hit chance, or Quad for more ammo capacity, or Vampire for extra healing. As long as you can kill in one shot, you don't need more damage, for Daily Driver at least, of course. Do not apply to the boss fights when you want to kill as fast as possible, but regular case scenario, look how powerful this weapon is. You don't really need much, and I know I'm blooded here, but if I would heal, that would be still easy two shot and one shot critical. So whatever the scenario is, this weapon rocks, and look how easy it is to use. If you are looking for heavy gunner vast weapon, this one fills all the blanks. And I don't know where the remaining super mutants are. They hiding somewhere? Where are you? There you are. Thank you. Now we have them all. All the super mutant erased. So this is the plasma caster. Are you using this weapon right now? What you think about it? Is it? Isn't it amazing? I think it is amazing. Heavy gun and one of not many that you can utilize in VATS incredibly efficiently. Especially with extra VATS hit chance and its incredible range of 228, which is not common across the weapon. That is high range and range on the weapons directly affect how good those weapons are in VATS. The VATS hit chance is affected by weapon total range, so that's how Plasma Caster can excel, especially boosted with all this extra VATS hit chance. So that being said, I hope to see you on the celebration Ship Squatch Day this Saturday. Join the celebration. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.